it's Saturday morning and story time. Good morning, Dersha. <laughs> Good morning, Donna. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. Good. <laughs> we've got a wonderful story today, and we've got a storm coming, don't we? We do. We do. We'll keep our eyes on that and pray for those who are in the first wave of the path. <laughs> yeah. It's time to gather the books, don't you think? Shall we get started this morning? <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. I am so happy to have you here this morning. It is the first day of August. I can't believe we are in a new month. And can you believe that I think we've been doing story time online for almost five months? <laughs> Maybe a little less, but it has been wonderful to be with you guys this summer. Um, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Welcome to Storytime at our store. We're so glad you came to read and explore. Now open your eyes and turn up your ears because you never know who or what will appear. This morning, I thought we would read the chalk giraffe. There he is, the chalk giraffe. And this book was written by Kelly Paxton. So she's the author. She wrote all the words. And the illustrator is Megan Loader. And she drew all the beautiful pictures inside. So let's take a look at the book, The Chalk Giraffe. And this also comes to you from Capstone Publishing. Oh, look at those end papers. It looks kind of like a chalkboard, doesn't it? Move past the title page. One day, I drew a giraffe out of chalk. My giraffe came alive. He could eat. He could talk. alone he cried out there's just gray all around so I drew him a tree growing up from the ground look at that pretty tree my giraffe liked that tree with the leaves blowing in the breeze they tickled his nose and made him <laughs> sneeze but still I could see that his face looked forlorn peering out from among the acacia tree thorns This is called an acacia tree. My giraffe would not laugh. Instead, he just said, I am tired and I can't use cement for a bed. So I drew him some grass. It was bright green and lush. And soon the night came and all was a hush. Till my chalk giraffe gave a deep grumpy sigh and then waited for me to make a reply. What's the matter? I asked. It's too dark, he protested. I need a nightlight to get well rested. So I drew him a zillion bright, chalky white stars and later a sun coming up from afar. Too much, Giraffe grumbled. It's so bright, I can't see. Draw me some shade for under my tree. Oh wow, he's got a lot of demands, doesn't he, that Giraffe? Well. I've had enough, I said, dropping my chalk. I wish I'd never drawn a giraffe that could talk. Instead of saying thanks, you make rude demands. So goodbye, chalk giraffe. You've had your last chance. Oh dear, she's a little upset. So I rubbed that giraffe right out with my shoe and the stars and the sun 
and the tree that I grew. But that night I kept thinking of my work of art. Sad thoughts settled deep down in my heart. I really missed that grumbling giraffe. I knew I still loved him, laugh or no laugh. The next morning I leapt awake and I picked up my chalk to fix my mistake. I drew a sun and some stars, an acacia with thorns, and my frowning giraffe from his feet to his horns. But this time I noticed a twinkling in his eye. He seemed full of mischief and I wondered why. <laughs> then the giraffe grabbed my chalk and I suddenly found I had stick legs and arms and stuck to the ground. Oh, drew right into the picture. Come, said giraffe and look down from up here. The world looks quite different than it would appear. So I proudly showed off my tree climbing talents and scaled his long neck with great skills and balance. And finally perched between his two horns, I surveyed this new world and I too felt forlorn. I saw what he saw and I looked and it looked kind of lonely. He needed more friends to make his home homey. I know what's missing, I cried out with glee. This world needs much more than just you and me. What is she gonna do? So Giraffe and I got to work right that minute. We drew zebras and a buck and a small spotted yinnet. I think I said that right, yinnet. We drew snakes up in trees and tiny dung beetles, a laughing leopard and two spotted cheetahs. And a rhino with horns and elephants with trunks, and a croc with a grin looking out for his lunch. There's still something missing, Giraffe said. Giraffe whined without end. Will you ever be happy, I asked my chalk friend. But still I could see from Giraffe's point of view, there was something absent, a giraffe number two. So I let my chalk friend draw another giraffe. It looked just like him, except that it laughed. I sighed with relief. I had it had taken a while, but our work was now done. Giraffe finally smiled. So I climbed right back down his long furry neck till I was to him just a small, tiny speck. When I left the chalk world, my giraffe didn't flinch, but I think that I saw his right eye move an inch. And I knew at that moment we'd created great art, and I was glad that I'd let my giraffe play his part. And back to those beautiful end papers again in the chalk world. Did you guys like that story? I loved that story. How great that she was able to create a giraffe and it talked and she even gave the giraffe friends and another giraffe to talk to and she drew a whole world with chalk. Which brings me to our craft for this week. My wonderful, wonderful, wonderful volunteer team 
came up with this craft. Remember, you, got, you can pick up your craft kit here at Story and Song. Make sure to come get them. And inside is a black sheet of paper, a giraffe pattern, and a piece of chalk. And what you're gonna do with that piece of chalk that you have, it's a piece of colored chalk. You're gonna stick your giraffe anywhere you want to. I'm gonna put it in the middle of my paper. And you're gonna hold it down and you're just gonna color. Color all around him. more layers down on this table. Oh, he moved a little bit. You can ask mom and dad to help you if you think you can't hold the giraffe in place as it is. Miss Deer's just having a little trouble herself. <laughs> All right. And guess what happens when I lift up? I'm going to put this back in here so we don't make an even bigger mess. <gasps> Look! It looks like my giraffe! <laughs> And you can give him a background with crayons, um, probably crayons, something bright because of course you have black and it's hard to see the darker colors on black. All right, Ooh. there we go, wipes right off. You can even do that craft outside if mom and dad think it's a little too messy to do it inside. And of course we have our passport for this week, remember. You have until this Wednesday to turn this in because I want to make sure that your name is in the bucket so I can see who I pull out next Saturday, okay, for the prize. So to stamp our passport today, we're going to go ahead and take the color green. And it's the 8 one because it's August the 1st. And we're going to color that square in. All right. And remember on your craft kits, you also have a bonus stamp that mom and dad can help you cut out and put in your last bonus spot. All right. And then turn that in by August 5th, which is this Wednesday, so that I can put you in the drawing. We are going to have a wonderfully fun next week with We Will Rock Our Classmates as a preview. This will be the very last book of our Summer of Stories program. Um, today's craft is the last craft, so please make sure that you pick those up. And don't forget that after next Saturday, the videos do have to come down due to publishing guidelines, okay? So try to watch those as soon as you can. I am so glad to have had you here today, and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.